Hello, Logan High School. Welcome back to the Chieftain Report. I'm Nicholas Kulapur. And I'm Jasper Jones. Well, Jasper, today is St. Patrick's Day. And that means if you don't have any green on, you're going to get pinched. Right. It's a good thing I'm wearing green. It's a good thing you're wearing green. Heck yeah. Today on the show, we have Sydney Lingrack with weather. And Lana Lilo and Lexis Ficklow with sports. But first, here are your announcements. <laughs> It's that time of year, folks. State tests. Next Wednesday, March 22nd, all 9th and 10th grade students are slated to take the English end of course exams. Juniors and seniors do not have to come to school on Wednesday because, well, we don't have to take that test. However, good luck to those that are, including you, Jasper. Have fun. Thanks, Nicholas. Anyway, the end of the grading period has come once again. That time for tears, anxiety, and getting work done you should have done three weeks ago. If you are late to do any of this work, make sure you get it done today. All students, including sophomore and freshmen, have no school Monday due to teacher in-service. This past Tuesday, the strawberries from the Vocational Agricultural Team's fundraiser arrived. Amazingly, the team managed to sell over 500 flats of strawberries. That is a lot of strawberries. In local news, last Friday, the Logan High School Symphonic Band took a trip up to the, to the Ohio District 15 group event. The bands were rated either superior, excellent, good, fair, or poor. Our band earned its 28th superior rating under the direction of Jeff North. Three judges sat watching the band play, and as they watched, not a single one of them had a negative comment for the band. Great job, everyone. In national news, well... It's St. Patrick's Day. Green here, green everywhere. Kisses, wishes, corned beef, and cabbage. Say, Jasper, let's give everyone some St. Patty's Day facts. Okay. Okay, so first things first. Who is St. Patrick? Well, we don't know a whole lot of factual, for sure facts, for sure, but we do know some things that scholars have generally agreed on, and that is, St. Patrick was born in Britain, but he was captured by Irish raiders at the age of 16, and he spent six years as an Irish slave. It was in this time that he became a devoted Christian, and when he escaped back to Britain, he felt a calling to go back to Ireland and spread Christianity. And Jasper, that's exactly what he did. St. Patrick is credited for spreading Christianity to the Irish people. Tell me something else about St. Patrick. Well, there was also a legend that said St. Patrick's drove all the snakes out of Ireland. That's not, that's not true. It's really due to cold weather and Mother Nature. You see, there's no actual evidence that there's snakes on the island, and that boosted his myth. Hmm. Interesting. Um, so, Jasper, tell me a little bit about the modern holiday. Well, Nicholas, the first St. Patrick's Day was held in Boston, not Ireland, in 1737. Interesting. That is interesting. Um, do you guys know where everyone wears green? No. This is interesting. So, originally blue was the St. Patrick's Day color, but eventually the green Ireland landscape, the green and the Ireland flag, and the green shamrock all combined to change the public perception of the holiday. Oh. <clears throat> so that's actually really interesting. Now, also, there's the myth of if you wear green, you are basically in invisible to leprechauns. And we all know if you don't wear green to uh, leprechauns... Uh, they pinch you. Yeah, that's not fun. Right. So I hope you're wearing green. Yeah, leprechauns will get you. Anyway, let's go to Sydney Lingrack with the weather. Brewing. Why hello there students and staff of LHS. Sydney Lingrack here once again to talk about the upcoming weather. To start off, the record high of March 17th is 78 set back in 1945 with a record low of negative 2 set back in 1956. Today on this lovely Friday there will be a high of 41 with a low of 39. We will be seeing rain showers in the p.m. hours. Here's the rest of your five-day forecast. On Saturday, the day will consist of rain showers on and off throughout the morning and afternoon hours. The high will be 46 with a low of 31. 
Sunday calls for cloudy skies with a high of 44 and a low of 26. Monday will once again be cloudy with snippets of sunshine in the afternoon. The high will be a nice 53 with a low of 42. And to wrap up the five-day forecast, Tuesday's high will be 53 with a low of 27. There will be light rain in the morning hours, giving way to cloudy skies in the afternoon. That's all I have for this week. As always, have a great weekend and enjoy this cloudy and chilly weekend. Sydney Lingrack, TV2 Weather. Three seconds of randomness! Ladies and gentlemen, in honor of St. Patrick's Day, I give you the Tucker Wilson. I'm a sailor's pig, and I lost my leg. Climbing up the top sails, I lost my leg. I'm shipping up to Boston, whoa. I'm shipping up to Boston, whoa. There's Landon Little and Lexus Fickle with the Chieftain Sports. Hello Cheap and Sports fans. Since winter sports have come to an end and spring sports are just now starting up, I thought I'd leave the desk and have a one-on-one -on -one interview with Coach Teddy on the upcoming track season. How do you feel about the upcoming track season? I actually feel really, really encouraged about the upcoming track season. Uh, we lost a lot of talent from last year, but uh, we have an outstanding incoming freshman class and um, we should be able to really pull together a, a pretty impressive team. So since you lost a lot of seniors last year, how do you feel about the new leadership? The new leadership is really, really strong. Uh, we've got a handful of kids that are way more mature than typical freshmen that we get into the program. And we have a lot of kids from that group that can grow into uh, significant leadership roles over the next year or so. But we also have at least one uh, runner who is already an outstanding leader uh, as a freshman. Uh, he can keep the team and the units that he works in on point, and he can keep them encouraged and positive. Um, and we look forward to a, a great freshman class coming up through the next couple of years. Thank you. Well, that's all we have for you guys today. I'm Landon Little. And I'm Lexis Fickle. Up next. We have behind the scenes of TV2. On Fridays, we watch TV2. We see the anchors, like Jasper Jones and Nicholas Kulapur. But what really gets TV2 produced? My name is Carter Hodson. I'm the director of TV2. I count down before we record. I edit and import the show. And sometimes I keep Mr. Stone in line. I'm Brittany Polly. Um, I'm the technical director. I import and export the show. Um, I switch the cameras. I put um, all the graphics up. I make sure everything's great and running well. I'm Veronica Fortner. I do audio, so I make sure that they're not too quiet and not too loud, and that they're perfect, and that nothing goes wrong with their microphones. My name is Hunter Kranitz. I've done this for three years, and I'm camera one. I make them look good. I'm Brittany Neff, and this is my third year doing camera two, and I shoot Jasper and Lexus. I'm Caitlin Horwich, and I'm camera three, the two shot in the middle, and I zoom in and out. My name is Seth Habram. I make the intros and the bumpers that play before every segment, and I edit my show, Pranks with Seth. Hi, I'm Peter Rosado. I do the weather graphics. I work with Sydney Langrack and get them right every week. <laughs> I'm Simon Rucker and I work with the anchors to make TV2 news graphics to get the right graphics every week and that's, that's all I got today. I can't really think of anything else. My name is Cameron Kaiser. I'm in charge of the sports graphics. I make all, I get all the scores from all the people that do sports for TV2 and make sure they're right and have the right teams for the show. My name is Brady Walsh and I'm Sports Info. I get the scores and give them to the anchors and clarify that they're the correct scores. That's a lot. Keep up the good work, guys. Kyosa Thompson, TV2 News. That's all we have for this week, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the show. Make sure that your happy weekend is filled with green and fun. Don't let any leprechauns pinch you.
I'm Nicholas Kudapur. And I'm Jasper Jones from TV2, The That's Deuce. It. Your eyes out. Poke your eyes out, leprechaun to get you. Do we have anything else? That's all.